I had quite a lot of questions regarding how to set up a Chinese Rome phone from certain viewers. So I thought, okay, let's do a video on that one. So today's video is going to be setting up any new Chinese phone using a Chinese ROM, how to set it up from the scratch. So I'm going to show you how to do that one. So let's start. But before I jump into details, after the video, if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like my video, please do make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. It's free to subscribe for you, but it means a lot to me. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this particular example, I'm using the Xiaomi, the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3, how to set up the phone from the scratch. So let's start. So first thing what you see is you see the menus for different different languages. Over here we'll set up as English. Click on this one and then you can choose the Wi-Fi. So in this particular one, let me choose this particular Wi-Fi. So now that I have put my Wi-Fi, so click on connect. So after that one is done, click on that. So agreement, privacy statement now check for the sim card so if you already have a sim card you'll automatically direct it but now i don't have a sim card over here so let's check go for the next menu so over here i'm going to click on that one and this is where you've got two choices do you want to set it up as a brand new device or do you want to import as an any old device like say for example if you have any other phone like say for example any other android phone or if you have an iphone you can use that option a lot of users they already got another phone so you can just click on import from the old device it'll ask you whether it's a Xiaomi phone or an android phone or an apple phone so whichever phone you have you can click on that so say for example if you click on the android phone it'll ask you to love all the time and then with the qr code you just need to go into your existing android phone and install the me me i mover so this application over here you just need to install it from your old phone's play store so once that is installed and you open it up or if you want you can just scan this qr code and then it automatically take you to install the me i mover so once you install it then you will be asked to join that particular network so once you click on your old phone and you search for that particular network you click on it and then it automatically synchronizes both of them and it starts transferring the data from from your old phone to your new phone so this is a setup if you already have an existing phone so what we will do for this demo purpose i will just go into the menu saying that use as a new device so what i'll do is click on the new device and then skip this part and it'll ask you for your xiaomi account if you already have the xiaomi account you can sign in using a xiaomi account or if you don't have then you can always create a xiaomi account since i already have a xiaomi account what i will do is I will enter my Xiaomi account using the sign in using the Xiaomi account and I'll put my email ID and the password. So once I have entered my email ID and the password, I can click on the sign in. Now it will say syncing, preparing in the item. You can just click on the next, next, and let's try to see the restore items, blah, blah, blah. If you don't want that one you can just skip this one because since i already had a backup so that's why it'll say about the backup since if you are trying to create as a brand new phone you can just ignore this one and just skip this step and it'll ask you for to set up a screen lock so whether you want a fingerprint or a face unlock you can do that but now for the demo purpose i'll just skip that one so So I'll skip this one as well. Mobile operator. Okay. I'll ask you for do you want the full gesture buttons? Um, I'll just go for the full gesture. 
and it'll ask you about this one so once you have done that one it will come to the screen where you can just swipe up to enter and that's your initial setup so over here this is the initial setup where you will have the mi store me apps but what you see is you don't get any kind of google apps this is where you need to do one small step in order to get your google play store so what you need to do to browser over here i can go and search for something called apk mirror over here when you go to type the google play apk it gives out certain options so you can just click on the option and then you'll get the google play apk what you need to do is download the apk so once it comes up just say allow all the time it will tell you google play so just download that one agree just says update and be downloading over here as you can see so once it's downloaded there you'll have the google play and that will obviously be downloaded over here as, as you can see the google play the google play store is installed over here so when you just click on that one all you need to do is you need to sign in so the sign in using your google account when you have confirmed in your old device that it is you who's trying to log in once you say yes then after that it will accept it and come to the next screen and you can just say it is me who's using the device next agree accept and that's it you have got your google play so click on gboard install so i go to manage keyboards i just switch the gboard on and the rest of the keyboards i'll just switch it off and then it's done when you want to download something the gboard comes in i always prefer gboard which is quite handy and next one say for example want to install gmail so any other applications you want to download you can do that one and obviously that is a very simple process of how to set up your chinese rom phone this is this works for any other chinese rom phone it's not difficult it's pretty simple straightforward all you need to do is download the google play apk from apk mirror and once you have done that the google, the play store is installed and rest of the things are pretty much the same the only annoyance you see in any chinese rom phones are the lot of chinese app or the chinese bloatware all you need to do is just delete them so once you delete them you will get a proper feel of using any other android phones in the western market apart from that the next one which a lot of people talk about is a notification as far as notification is concerned most of the chinese roms uh, most of the chinese rom phones have got a lot of restrictions in the battery so if you want timely notifications what i would suggest is go to any other app so say for example messaging app long press on that one go to the app info and make sure you go to the permissions and give it all the permissions so once you give the permissions for any application like notification just check the notification if it's on if it's not on just make sure it's switched on in that way you will get timely notification without any issues one thing which i've noticed in this particular one the xiaomi mix fold 3 is i didn't have to go into every application to actually change it because most of the notifications were working from the time i installed the applications there were a few instances where the notifications were not coming through so for those instances i had to manually go into the application step which i mentioned to you now go there and make those changes apart from that you're pretty much sorted out uh, as far as the applications are concerned the notifications are fine and everything else just works absolutely fine so these so this is something which a lot of people have asked me about how to set up the chinese rom phones so just follow these steps and you should be good to go again if you still encounter any kind of issues what you can still do is you can go to the settings and go into the way it says battery and what you can do is you can go to the battery settings and if you see the battery saver just make sure that it's turned off and so that any kind of battery optimization or anything like that 
it's not there. So if, even if, if you want, you can go to the app battery saver. So these are all the apps. So you can just check on what apps it has, which has got the problem. So say, for example, you click on Gboard. Just make sure there are no restrictions. So it says battery saver doesn't restrict app TK. There you go. Now that I've set the Gboard as no, no restrictions. So any kind of uh, things which you want, you can set it up over here. This is pretty simple, straightforward. Once you do this, most of your applications should work absolutely fine without any issues. You will have timely notifications. So far, if you like my videos, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. As you know, it's a lot of work involved in, in doing these kind of things. So any kind of support or help is always appreciated.